Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do another video about ICF today. Um, and today I'm going to analyze the difference financially in the costs associated with going ICF compared to a conventionally framed house. Everyone's hearing about lumber prices through the roof. And you know, last ICF video I made a claim that right now I can build an ICF wall for the same price as a quality framed wood house. And uh, today I'm gonna try to put my uh, real estate finance degree to work and explain what I meant by that and show you the actual numbers to uh, give you an idea of why that is so true. Like I said, I should have made this video before I made the one about wiring ICF. Um, I got a little pushback from people on how is that possible? And uh, the case I'm trying to make is that even when the traditional market had lumber lower price to get into a, a house than ICF, your monthly outgoing cost of ownership, when you factor in utility bills and you factor in everything associated, insurance and everything, ICF is always the better choice in my mind. It is the uh, only way I would build for myself, my loved ones, um, but in a normal market, this is more expensive by a little bit. You'll hear people that know or don't know anywhere from two to 10% more. I'd say traditionally it's always been about 5% more. Um, right now, like I said, it's, it's on par. Um, I'm going to flip this wall. When I talk about quality frame, I'm not talking about spec houses that they've cut every corner. They're using fiberglass or foam sheeting with OSB in the corners only. Uh, two by four walls. What I'm talking about, zip board, two by six walls, spray foam. Um, that's that's the only way you can even approach ICF's energy efficiency. You won't get to ICF because you're still gonna have a lot of thermal bridging. That's not a financial topic. That's more of another video when I talk about why ICF is so good from an efficiency standpoint. But normally, um, that's what I'm gonna be talking about when I talk about quality framing. I'm not talking about bare bones, cheap framing. I'm talking about quality stuff. So I'm gonna flip this one around so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, zip board. Specifically, it'll ring a bell. You've seen it on a million houses. And uh, then we'll talk price of both of these products. Okay, so today I went to Home Depot and I bought one sheet of zip board, five two by six studs, to frame this four by eight wall just to show you an idea of a square footage price of a wall. And it's a little shocking to somebody who's been buying lumber over the last 19 years. This one sheet of 716 zip board, which is an OSB product with a fluid applied vapor barrier, it's an awesome product. A year ago, I was paying $17 a sheet for this. I paid $55 for that one sheet today. So that's like I said, I, I knew it was in the 30s a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. I was shocked when I saw $55. Honestly, I was making this video. I did not think it was going to be that high. The eight foot two by sixes were $12.33 a piece. I have five of them for a total of $62. The roll of zip tape, you can't factor that all into one sheet. The roll of zip tape is about $30 to $32 and you're gonna get about six sheets taped up with a roll on average. So you get about five fifty six dollars something like that, per sheet of OSB added. So your total lumber cost and, and tape is gonna be about $135 for this four by eight piece of wall. Um, you still have to insulate this. And the insulation is about $1.60 a square foot for spray foam in a two by six stud space. Um, you got 32 square feet here, that's $52. So framed and insulated, you got $187 right here. Once it's insulated, ready for sheetrock. We come over to the ICF, same size, four foot by eight foot. The blocks are four feet wide. They're 16, foot, 16 inches tall. So you get six of them, that's an eight foot wall. They're each about $20.50 a piece, 25, a little less than that. It's, it's uh, I called today and got my today price, and it was $3.87 per square foot. So $3.87 per square foot, 32 feet is $124 right around. You still have, now it's insulated, 
but you got to put, put concrete in it. Today's price on concrete wall, wall mixed concrete, is about $115 a yard delivered to most job sites around the Springfield area. That's 0.59 yards to fill six inches by 32 square feet, so that's $68 in concrete. Total $192. So $5 more for a concrete house, awesome insulation, $5 more for this small piece of wall, but a year ago, this would have been $80 more maybe. You know, so the, the wall was significantly more expensive, although all the other things are the same, so it would add a few percent to the cost of the house. Right now, it's not. And I'll get into um, the differences in a second about the fact that there's so many things this saves you down, down the line that it's actually cheaper right now. It's, 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 a, it's a market anomaly. I don't know how long it will last. I cannot imagine lumber can stay this high forever, but uh, at the moment, and really always, but definitely at the moment, you just have to look at ICF as the best, best choice you could possibly make. Okay, so now that I've kind of shown that the two materials are basically on par right now, cost-wise, I'm gonna talk about labor a little bit because that is a factor. Framing labor in, in Springfield, Missouri right now is around $5 a square foot on your basic homes. Obviously there's tons of stuff that they charge extra for, whether it be ceilings or steep roofs, um, just tons of different things they charge extra for, but that is the same on an ICF house because that's all interior framing typically. But the, a, a framer that knows ICF charges less per square foot down in the mid threes, upper threes, because they don't have outer walls to frame. They don't have any sheathing to put on. So that savings will eat up the labor that it costs to do the ICF wall. Typically, the ICF wall is about $3 a square foot, vertical square footage. You're replacing your foundation and your outer wall. So you're replacing two line items on the budget with this wall. So that ends up being really, really similar in cost. Now, once you get to that point, this is poured, this is insulated, your siding cost, your brick, your stone, all that stuff is exactly the same. There's no difference. Uh, your electrician, you, you can look at this other video I did about wiring. They might upcharge you a couple hundred dollars max uh, to, to cut all the grooves in the ICF. It's really a nominal charge. Like I said, a lot of guys just do it. They don't charge, but you might get a little upcharge on electrical, but it's not a lot. But the big difference in the two houses is your HVAC systems. HVAC has multiple reasons that you're actually gonna save money if you build an ICF house. One, most municipalities or co-ops right now have tax credit or have a rebate on the efficient units you're going to use, eight, $900 back just automatically from the utility provider. Um, the builder gets $2,000 tax credit if, if you pass certain efficiency standards that's just automatic to the builder. And if you do an energy audit and pass, which ICF is almost like cheating, you're gonna pass. Um, it's, you know, they're gonna put a blower door on and check it for air infiltration and everything else. And ICF is just such an easy way to get there. Right now, you're gonna get a 25% credit on your HVAC system. It was 35% last year. Um, I would expect that to go back up. Current political climate, is, green initiatives are a big thing. So I, I would expect that. But the other thing, take out all of the little gifts that you get given by the government or whatever. You're gonna go from, on a, on a 2,000 square foot house, you're gonna have a four ton unit uh, probably on, on a framed house. You're gonna get down to a two and a half ton unit on an ICF house just because they're not gonna require the same amount of heating and cooling. So that's gonna save you three to $4,000 just by the nature of it being ICF. So you factor in that and the fact that they're already on par, now you're getting cheaper to build it. Um, on top of that, talk to my HVAC guy today. He tracks a lot of this. He does a lot of really high-end geothermals and really efficient units. And on a 2,000 foot house, He's got different people monitoring their bills. And on a typical frame house, he'll put a meter just on the HVAC. So you, you know what the heating and cooling costs are compared to the whole utility bill. And on a normal 2000 foot house, you may have about $120 a month utility bill to heat and cool that, that house. 
and on an ICF house, you're gonna have about a $50 bill. And that is the key, guys, because on a $200,000 house, I'm just gonna use that as a round number because that seems to be kind of an entry level house at this point, 3% mortgage, your payment's gonna be $843, principal and interest. Not, cap, not, not talking ins insurance and taxes, but $843, principal and interest. Even if this was 5% more like it might have been a year ago, you got $210,000, your payment goes up $42 a month to $885, but your utility bill is $70 less. So even a year ago, when this was much cheaper, your monthly outgoing was less by about $30. Right now it's less by $70 or more. So it's a crazy thing to not consider that your utility bill, something you can never pay off, something you're gonna pay every month for the rest of your life, even after you paid off your house, you save that. Used to when we try to talk to people about ICF, we would say you're gonna save your extra expense in 27 to 36 months. But the reality is your monthly nut, that monthly amount you need to come up with to live in your house is lower day one and day 1001 with ICF because your utility bill goes down by more than your payment will go up even when lumber regulates and it's not the same. Right now it's a no brainer. I mean, it's just the answer. But even when lumber comes down, maybe we see $20 OSB again, I don't know. But when that happens, and this price has been very stable, um, it may go up 5% you know, this summer because of the resin shortage, but it is not gonna take the increases that this is already, I mean, this stuff's tripled in a year. It's, I've seen things over 19 years in the business, Katrina, uh, Anytime there's a big storm, OSB skyrockets, but it's never been $50 a sheet. It's just, it's crazy to me. So that's the big thing. Now, the other things I'm not even gonna quantify for you, um, different insurance companies will provide uh, lower rates. If you have ICF houses, they're obviously a little more fire resistant. They are vastly more wind resistant. Um, and then your appraised value and your sales price down the road, they're gonna, it's gonna bring you every dollar you spend extra on it in a normal market if you do. And a good agent, a good real estate agent is gonna market that. I've walked into ICF houses and shown them as a broker and I'll walk in and I realize it's an ICF house. There's very little that will tell on it, but the window sills are usually thicker than a regular frame house. And I'll figure out it's ICF and there's nothing in the description. But most realtors are pretty sharp on that. They know that that's a big selling point. If you can say, hey, I got an ICF house, it'll bring a few percent more on the sales price. Um, so you get more money when you sell it. You save money every month you live there. And it's just, it's just an absolute no-brainer in my mind. And uh, just kind of wanted to show you apples to apples as close as I can get. Just break that down for you today. I hope it's been clear. I don't know that I'm a great teacher, but I really understand the product. And I just know that right now, it's always been the answer. It's been around 30 years. It's been the answer a long time. But right now it is so clear just because the lumber market has been in total chaos and flux. And this has been a very stable product. Concrete's been very stable. So far, fingers crossed um, that it stays so. But if you're looking to build houses, we like to say we build pools and everything else, but right now I'm just talking numbers. It is, it's the way. And uh, you know, give me a shout, send me an email, do whatever, and I can get you info. I'm, I don't sell these forms, but I, I have friends that do, and I can hook you up with them and get them for you at a incredible cost. And from there, you know, We'll see you next time.